Mr. B? Uh huh, yeah, right. <laughs> and everybody, our family in YouTube land, we're, we're having, look what I made for her, B. Wow. It's got flowers on it from my garden. Crepes, you're having crepes with a macadamia nut. It's cultured macadamia nut sauce with habanero in it, fennel from the garden. Um, it's got dandelion from the garden and lemon juice and it's healthy. And you've got caramelized onions because I know you love onions, right? Yes. And it's got mushrooms. You love mushrooms. And some greens from the garden and flowers from the garden and red pepper. You love red pepper. Mm -hmm. Yes? All right. And this is micro baby kale with romaine and I just lightly tossed it with beautiful olive oil, apple cider vinegar and a pinch of salt and a little bit of avocado. You know, this reminds me when I was a dentist, they uh, did some inspection of my mouth and because I, my other dentist had moved so I was the first time there so he checked my teeth and they kept you know, there's different numbers to your teeth. So, oh, crown this, crown that, crown that. So when they were finished, I said, gee, I have so many crowns, I feel like a king. You are a king, and this is a and dinner fit for a king. A, Look at that. And this is, now I'm eating what a king would eat. <laughs> how yeah. do you feel? So Herbie is my dad. He's been vegan for how long now? Uh, 16 months. 16 months. And how are you feeling? Um, on a scale of one to ten, I'm eleven. You're an eleven. That's great. I uh, I feel good. I've been acting good. Uh huh. Uh, I think you've I been look acting good. good? <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice to know. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you it, look amazing. It, the uh, you know the glass isn't half empty and half full. Right now, the glass is full. Right. And. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm at, so everyone's life is a book, and right now I'm in a beautiful chapter. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, and I owe so much of this, an awful lot, that I'm grateful to my daughter, as well as I appreciate my daughter. Aw, uh, that's so sweet. And she, uh, she's opened up a whole new world that uh, I've been able to, um, be part of and and really it's uh, there's very very few people I think that at my age who could be enjoying life so much and the kind of people uh, who are working on my body and the, and the people I, I I've been I meet and uh, it's uh, it's very hard to think how. I keep saying the best is yet to come, but I think the best is here. <laughs> it's totally here. Yeah. And uh, it's, you know, I, uh, I'm just happy. Oh, um, and Herbie brought me a, a photo album. There's my mom. He brought, a, he brought an old photo album over. I'm very happy to see it. There's me. I don't know how old I was. And Danny, my brother. And let's see. This is what mommy looked like when you met her. Yes. Um, oh, the lighting's not so good. These old photo albums are so funny. Um, so anyway, Herbie, I'm so glad that you are here enjoying a meal fit for a king. There's my mama. There's Beverly. So cute. There's Danny and I. There's me. I love those dancing outfits. <sighs> um... Let's see if we can find, this is an older one before you. So there's one picture of Herbie here when you had a mustache and curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well anyway, Herbie, how, did, how is it? It's superb, you know. I don't need any more, I need to take a picture. <laughs> it's superb, do you like it? Here, yes. start on your salad. Right. See, uh, <laughs> you know, it, uh, there's very few people who, could have a meal like this, and uh, even if you go to some of the finest restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's full of love. It's, it's so much love. Like, I had so much fun making these crepes. Go and, ahead. And it's, uh, and not only that, it's very nutritional. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, you know, it, uh, my, my body's screaming, yay, for Tara, yay, look at what I'm eating. 
<laughs> That's funny. That's how Tristan felt. He had some today. He had some crepes, and he was like, "Wow, you know." Yeah, that's 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 a you know, everything, every mouthful is wow. Yeah. And, and that, uh, you know, and I'm not just smiling. That you can see my whole body is smiling. Yeah. I mean, it's happy. Yeah, you look wonderful. And it's healthy and. You're glowing, bon and I'm really, I have to say, Bon Appetit, Herbie, I have to say that Herbie's so amazing because once he knows something isn't good for him, it is not going in his body. Like, you're unwavering and very disciplined. There's no turning back. Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something very strange. Should I shut and, the camera? And the, no, you can be on the camera. <laughs> sure. On okay. AOL, uh -huh. uh, there was an uh, um, email from the Northwestern... Insur life insurance company. They've been in business for over 100 years and they've developed a, a protocol of answering 13 questions in terms of anyone in your family had a heart attack before the age, of, after the age of 50. Uh, the, uh, do, uh, do you do exercise on a daily basis? Um, what operations you've had. Uh, has anyone ever had cancer in the family? So all different questions, I answer them. And as you answer each question, I start off from putting my age there, 86. Mm -hmm. And then on certain things, it goes to 88. Yeah, life it's like 91, 92, 94. Yeah, we figured I ended up based on what the computer is saying, yeah. I follow the averages, 106. Wow. <laughs> wow. And they didn't even ask you if you ate raw food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Herbie, I love that. There's You are ageless and timeless. And uh, it's really but, impressive. Uh, who knows? But no, but it's not. Yeah, but it's but yeah. even just the fact that you don't have pain. That's the point. Like you're pain free now. Yes. For those of you who haven't seen, Herbie had spinal stenosis and he had the trouble walking more than two houses without severe pain. He had arthritis. He's been drinking. This has ginger and turmeric in it. He's been having ginger and turmeric and um, he's pain free. And I love that statement that you said that you always thought that when you get old, you have to deal with the aches and pains. Yeah. Well, that, that was all because I didn't, I was getting old and I was having pain and I was coping. Yeah. But now it, uh, uh, each breath is like a bouquet. You know what I mean? In the sense of, <sighs> Um, so nice. uh, you know, it, it's a celebration of life, and uh, I'm fortunate that I can say this because it's um, it's true. It's yeah. how I feel, and and uh, you know, I, life is one day at a time. No question about it. But the, uh, there's so many things that happen, you know, and and, and today, unfortunately, with the news and so on. It's so easy to be depressed, right? But uh, and, but hopefully, I, I'm living in the part of the world that America's one, the great country. I mean, people are illegally trying to get here. Why? Because it has so many things that make life worthwhile. Right. And. Uh, in, in terms of all the Constitution, the preamble, uh, our, our, our national anthems, and uh, it's just, you know, it just. I feel like singing it, God Bless America right now. Yeah, it, it's, it's so God patriotic. Bless America, God Bless My Family. Yes. Uh, you know, and uh, it's uh, just very interesting, exciting, and uh, I'm not sure. I know why it's happening in a sense because of how Dara changed my life in the sense of what I'm eating, how really I'm thinking more positive. Wait a minute. Here, like I had a, I pay a bill and on the check you have to put the account number that pertains to the bill at Verizon or whoever it is. Mm -hmm. it. And usually I only can remember four or five numbers. Yes. Now, like, I made out a check yesterday that I remembered eight. Wow. 
You know, so your let's say it was 107, 250. David Wolf talks about that when your brain gets calcified, it gets calcium buildup. And this kind of eating breaks down the calcium and it, it helps. So, um, you're getting more oxygen to your brain now, you know, more more oxygen, more better blood flow. Your blood flow is better to get to all your organs. So it has to affect your brain, right? You would think so. Mm -hmm. but, and it uh, is. Um, I think your, your speech pattern is better than it used to be. I I'm going to post that video below for Thanksgiving. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry I interrupted. Uh, Go ahead. It, it, uh, and I think even, you know, what's happened without saying any names, there are three different people mm -hmm. who either in person or on the phone or in emails who I've met while I've been here in Venice, mm -hmm. who um, have opened themselves up to me mm -hmm. and think of me as a person who's had a lot of life experiences. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't have the education, I have experience, where they're asking my opinion on things. Mm -hmm. And in a way, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, counseling them. Yes. And uh, most of them, uh, or these three people, uh, it, it, I mean, it's amazing to me that things that I can say to them and recommend and we discuss in terms of uh, how they can change things for the better for themselves, that um, they put me up on a pedestal at which, you know, uh, it's, I, I find it very hard to be to accept it because you know I'm more than happy to share right and and but um, I'm happy that this this knowledge is coming out and helping people yeah and uh, that's so nice Ruby. yeah it's a it's a whole new experience right and uh, uh, and uh, you know, yeah it, you get uh, to share your wisdom from all you've learned and from this new perspective in life in a clear way mm -hmm. and a motivating really inspiring mm -hmm. I you've helped me many times mm -hmm. but, uh, I love it, how you're uh, eating it's a great too much <laughs> well, listen, that, that, it's really that, so cute. Uh, that helps the body and lets people know that you like the food uh, um, <laughs> uh, there's no question about there's, this that. looks like a party seriously like I know you love color and this dish is just so uh -huh. very herby oh this is with your yeah, flowers, right? Wow, it's so herby. It's a wow, wow. Yeah, um, you know, just I'm so proud of you, and it's just so inspiring because there's so many people who know or even experience. Many people who have not experienced don't know what it feels like to get to this level of health, where you wouldn't want to turn back the other ah. way. You wouldn't want to eat something that made you feel bad because you're feeling. It doesn't so make very sense bad. for. 30 seconds, an hour, whatever pleasure you get, I mean, uh, it's just, it's fleeting. Right. You know, it, it's like you blink. But uh, what I'm doing here is uh, making life so enjoyable each day. Right. And, uh, and, 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 and under circumstances and an environment that is, uh, Joyous, you know. I can, uh, I can uh, close my eyes and compose and say hallelujah, hallelujah. Right, right. And you know, it's funny. Herbie's not a chef. Herbie's refrigerator has romaine in it. It has half a tomato. It's got half a cucumber. When he watches a game, the Rangers go Rangers. He eats pieces of red cabbage and carrots and has fun chewing them. So he doesn't do fancy raw food. You do not do fancy raw food, mm. right? So. You know, cafe gratitude. Thank goodness for cafe gratitude. But you could make salads. You make salads. You make smoothies. Thanks to the NutriBullet. I'm really love that you do that. You still make your smoothies, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. So you get a lot of greens in, a lot of fiber, and uh, it's just really impressive, Herbie. You're an impressive. And also, what I started to do more, where I used to eat the, the, the snacks, the the red cabbage and the carrots. Mm -hmm. and the carrots now I've been dipping into the hummus. Okay, good. The, so the sticks, I make sticks. That's great. Yeah. And and, and Denise, God bless her, she made a, a big bowl of, um, of hummus. And uh, I mean, she's such a super 
Yeah, super you're surrounded by a lot of super people. So right. it's not only the food. The food, is the, the food is the first thing to clean yourself up so you can think more positively. Then it's thinking positively, surrounding yourself with positive people, mm. getting vitamin D, getting sunshine 15 minutes a day, moving your body, you're working out, you're doing a trainer with um, True. True. She's amazing. And with Denise, you're doing yoga. So, And you're getting massages. It's great. It's like, it's a great life, Herbie. This is a picture of, of someone who climbed the tallest mountain in the, in the universe. And when he got to the top, this is what was waiting for him. <laughs> Raw chocolates. It's uh, pecans and you know, it, uh, One of the joys of being a parent of, of a person like Dara, I mean, it, it, un unbelievable dividends <laughs> you know it uh, it's uh, it, 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 i can't tell you how much i it's hard to even express what the uh the joy of, of this having such a wonderful meal yeah and and as well as the company yeah sitting sure. sitting with my daughter and yeah. Oh, so, so how is dinner? Tell nice. them how you like the taste of dinner. Uh, yeah. you, you're the first person, the second person to eat the savory raw crepes ever. How did you like it? Oh, it was, uh, I, you know, had that expression, I think I died and went to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was uh, you know, it was uh, uh, as if you got rewarded for something that you did and the reward was something that you... Wow, you know that uh, you really you never expected it to be as great and as I mean and meaningful, you know, uh -huh. and the, the good health. That's the best testimonial ever. Well, I'm going to show everybody how to make those crepes because they're uh -huh. very easy. Ah, that was uh, you know, and the fact that they actually little touch with the flowers, the edible flowers. Yeah, I mean it. Uh, you feel good. It's, yeah. it's just, you know, it. Uh, you can go to the finest restaurant and someone who's really been trained and handled all kinds of food and uh, um, if Dara ever got to the point where she wanted to do something like that, I, I'm sure, I mean, it'd have to be that only catering to a very small clientele but expensive because... <laughs> <laughs> like she only never 10 people it. and I, she, I know, no, I, I, mm, that's true. Well, there are people who spend like $500 a thousand on dinner. That's crazy. I know, but when there's people who money, is, they can hold it in contempt, so yeah. to speak. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean anything anymore, they're that wealthy. Mm -hmm. So that they can have the best wine and the best food. And I mean, here it have, is. And here it is. Yeah, and... and and there's people who also, you know, say, you know, they can't afford to do this. Some people can't and some people say they can't. Um, but in the end, this looks really pretty and it tastes really delicious. But what we're doing is really preventing, um, you know, disease. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, it, uh, I'm the beneficiary of, a, of a, something that's really not describable except by a big smile and saying wow <laughs> <laughs> well you know, it, i it, love you're the best recipient i love um this is you, uh, well, it, you know uh whatever a favorite meal is this this is what i would like to be able to eat not the same thing but right. on that level yeah. i mean it's uh well just i mean you, I, 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 as it is Five, this, of seven days in the week, there's five days that I have one meal in the gratitude. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of tasty, it, the service is nice, I've gotten to know a lot of people there, and so um, I get sort of like a red carpet. They love you uh, there. Yeah. They always and, come over and say, hi, Herbie, hi, Mr. Fisher. Yeah. But something different's happening there. They're opening up another restaurant downtown and they're oh. taking some of the people. Oh wow! Uh, 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 and in fact, there's a, uh, I don't know, you know, the two brothers, Joachim is one of them, a young boy. Uh, 
I had a very nice conversation with him a couple, a couple months ago, and it always uh, gives me a nice warm welcome when he's working in there. Oh yes, I've seen him, yes I yeah. know him. And uh, he's one of the people that's being transferred, mm -hmm. but he, he gave me his phone number, he wants me to oh, call him, that's so sweet. and he says he wants to have dinner with me. Uh, you know, he, 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 and that's he, so nice, Herbie. Yeah, it, uh, you are well loved, that's for sure, by all of our YouTube family, <clears throat> by everyone on Facebook. <clears throat> and now we're going to watch Herbie eat the chocolates. <clears throat> they got a little spice in them. They've got pecans, <clears throat> honey. Good. Super. And be careful, it's hot. He's having cinnamon vanilla tea. Are you crying from the chili Enjoy peppers? Them. Oh, that's so sweet. I thought it was from the spiciness. <coughs> oh my God, my chocolates can make you cry. Of tears of joy. Mm -hmm. So sweet, Herbie. Oh, I'm blessed. <sighs> you have no idea. Oh my God, I want to cry. I do. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Make me so happy. I'm so glad. That's my intention. Mission complete. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Get your greens on everybody and make somebody you love cry. Tears of joy. <laughs> we can sign off. All right. This, um, I just was thinking, and I mentioned it to Dara, that besides how well it looked, how well it tasted, how you are what you eat, but I'm eating something that's made with so much love that I feel. That's as part of the ingredient. And that, uh, for me, I mean, it, it's very, very special. It's the bad word, but it's the best medicine. It's the best word. It is the best medicine. <laughs> Best medicine. In Love the world. does go into that food. Yeah. I made it with such joy, and um, well, I was trying to remember if I was sad when I made the chocolates because you started crying as soon as you ate them. There's a movie called Like Water for Chocolate, and and the chef's emotions go into the food, and it's it's a notion that I really believe that um, how you are when you prepare the food goes into the food, mm -hmm. and there's absolutely nothing but joy and love in that food, and I. And I was excited for you to come over so you can feel that, you know, in the red peppers and in the mushrooms and in the onions and with the love that goes into the tea and the, but if I had a restaurant, that's how it would be. I would serve, I would <clears throat> serve, that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tristan asked me if I wanted to do packaged food and I said no because part of my pleasure is purchasing like finding the produce picking the produce making the food and then handing it off like handing the food to the person and mm -hmm. sitting with them like mm -hmm. it's part of my pleasure to watch you enjoy mm -hmm. so um, your tears of joy are just thank you a nice thank you really um, mm -hmm. so I guess I should stay in the kitchen <laughs> Well, I love you, Herbie. We all love you. You deserve this and more. But, uh, there's hundreds of people who would like me sitting here and gone through in the last hour or so what I was able to be served, consume. Wow. Uh, as well as express my love to my daughter. That's so nice. Imagine if everybody prepared food with love, like you're doing exactly what is in order for food prepared with love needs to be received and eaten in love. And that's exactly what happened here. Imagine how well it digests like that with appreciation and love when you eat it like that. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Herbie, for being a superb, shining mm -hmm. example. Love you. Mm -hmm.